my previous video I showed how to mill the inside of the wheel, um, how to true up the outside of the wheel to make sure everything was perfectly round. Um, the next thing I want to go over is um, how to polish the bore of the wheel, the, the center of the inside of the wheel, um, and how to get it to seat really nice and tight. So um, the way that I do this is I use a Q-tip. Um, these are Q-tip brand Q-tips. Um, I've had pretty good luck with them. I know I've, I've read certain brands might better match the bore size or something like that, but I just use these because this is what we have. Um, I usually take an X-Acto knife and I'm going to cut at an angle through one side of the Q-tip. Now, I do it at an angle for a specific reason. I'll show you why um, once we start polishing. And I have a couple of these that I've already been using so you can kind of see here's here's the previous one um, that has that angle cut on the end of it. So the first thing I'm going to do after I cut that is I'm going to chuck it up in my drill. Now, you don't want to squeeze it down too tight because this is just cardboard, it's just paper, but um, I usually try to get a you know pretty decent um, tension on it. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get some of my Ultra Graphite. Um, I really like this stuff. It's super fine. Um, this is an uh, accelerator brand. Um, I think I ordered it on Amazon. And I'm going to take a little bit of this ultra fine graphite and I'm just going to put it on a napkin and then I'm going to take the end of my q-tip and I'm going to run it through that ultra fine graphite just like that this till I get a pretty decent coating on the end of that um, and I usually will go both ways. I'll go forward and reverse on the drill. Just so I'm kind of truing everything in there. Now, what works best for me is, and again, you take that angled tip. That helps you get uh, the wheel lined up on the center. Helps you find it. And then you want to be really careful on your speed here. So you'll see as it starts to come through the top where you can see that angled tip. Um, as it turns, that angle kind of works like a little shovel. So what I'm going to do is fill the inside of my wheel well. with some graphite. Now, just going low speed, I'm going to work that up and down in that wheel hub. kind of push it up and down. Now, after a little bit, you'll actually be, be able to hear it. It starts to make a kind of a squeaking sound. Let's see if I can get it to do it here. if you can kind of it just kind of started to squeak there I don't know if the video will pick it up or if all you'll hear is the drill you can also kind of feel it in your fingers 
when it starts to squeak. That's kind of your sweet spot. And again, you can see I'm not going really fast with this. If you go too fast, your plastic can actually heat up and you can melt the bore. So after running that back and forth, um, get a pretty good polish on the inside of my wheel. The next thing that I want to polish, and I'll, while I've got this chucked up, I'll go ahead and I'll do a whole set of wheels, uh, typically. When I get that done, I'm going to swap out to a, a clean Q-tip, and I want a fuzzy end on this one. I'm going to take a little bit of the graphite that I dumped out here and just work that up onto the end of my Q-tip. Take a little more of my ultra fine graphite on the outside of my wheel. Come on. There we go. And then I'm going to put my Q tip right in the end. And again, on low speed, just polish that out. And you'll see that the inside of your hub kind of starts to look shiny um, as you polish it. So what we're doing with that is we're getting a really nice uniform polished surface that's going to rub against the backside head of all of the nails that we tapered and trued. So those are the two things together that will help a wheel be really, really smooth. Now, you'll notice when you get done, um, I, I will generally try out each of my wheels with an axle to get a pair that is a, a matched pair or something that's running really nice and smooth. Um, if you spin your wheels and you hear a lot of rattle or wobble, um, that may not be a good wheel. It may not be the right axle to go with that wheel. Um, you can see I've actually finished our cars for this year. Uh, this was a wheel that I rejected because when I spun it, it had just a little too much wobble. Now, if I get it to spin just against the head of the nail, I get rid of the wobble but that also creates a lot more friction for me. So this was a wheel out of our whole batch of 20 wheels that I did for three cars this year. This was one I rejected because it has that wobble in it. I have some other wheels that are backups for me that don't have that wobble. That's just a nice, smooth spin. So even after you go through all the time to mill all your wheels, get them straight, um, get them trued up, cut the weight down, get the, the bores polished, get the outside polished, you still got to go through them and you're going to have some that are just no good. They just weren't good wheels from the start. Um, and don't be afraid to just reject those or throw them out. Um, you want to make sure that you get a really nice paired wheel. Now. When I'm done, done done, at the end, and I've got all my wheels polished and I've got my axles paired and everything put together, um, my general rule of thumb is when I spin them, I should be able to count to 20 before they completely stop on their own. So if I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So if I can get to 20 or above with my wheels, I generally consider that to be a really well-balanced wheel a good polished bore. Um, I've got good axles in there and this car should be ready to go.